Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and in this video, I'll be looking at the first detachable open ear headphones from Laval. Laval are makers of some nice looking smart cycle and scooter helmets and they've used their experience in open ear audio to create their LTS 21 removable headphones. That is not only aimed at cyclists, they can also be suitable for other sports too, where situational awareness is critical while simultaneously listening to audio from a Bluetooth connected device, such as jogging and yoga. And they can also be a good solution in the workplace too. The Laval LTS 21 open ear headphones are currently undergoing an Indiegogo campaign and it has already smashed through their funding goal by over 402%. So if you wish to jump on their 40% off perk deals, there's still some time remaining before their campaign ends. In the box, you get a hard shell waterproof carry case with the headphones and accessories inside. There are a pair of wet wipes to clean the cycle helmet surface for attaching the cycle arm accessories. And you get a paper manual that describes how to pair the headphones to your device via the low latency Bluetooth 5.2 connection. In the fabric covered hard shell carry case, you get a set of six replaceable 3M adhesive stickers for the helmet mounting arms. There's an 800 milliamp hour charging case with the headphones inside, a 50 centimeter USB-C to USB-A charging cable. There is an over ear neckband to attach the headphones onto. And for the pro edition, there are a pair of helmet mounted arms and adhesive attachments. All of the Indiegogo perks come with an additional remote control as a free gift. This accessory is mainly aimed at cyclists and it allows you to pair it to the headphones as well as its mobile app to allow you to navigate your audio and adjust the volume, invoke Siri or your Google Assistant. And if you pair it with their Laval app, you can use this control to trigger the intercom to communicate with any other group of riders that you might be cycling with. The remote is battery powered and it connects directly to the headphones or your mobile if you use it alongside their app. The remote comes with two rubber inserts that can fit onto different sizes of handlebar thicknesses and it secures to the handlebars with a thick elastic rubber loop. Mounting the open headphones onto your neckband is the simplest of the two methods available. You first take the headphones out of their charging case and attach them to the neckband. Each side is clearly marked on both the arms or the neckband and on the inside of the open ear headphones themselves. You simply slide them onto the neckband and they stay firmly in place. Then simply place the band around your neck and over your ears and position the open ear headphones on top of your ears with the silver metal speaker grill facing inwards. The silver metal grill on the inside should rest over your ear canal to be able to achieve the optimum sound that they provide. The helmet mounting method takes a little extra time to install, but it is still very simple to carry out. After attaching each headphone to the separate helmet mounting arms, I found it best to wear the cycle helmet and position each headphone over your ears whilst playing audio through them. And then look in the mirror or front facing camera on your mobile phone to see if the position of the adhesive mounts rest on a flat surface of your cycle helmet. Once you've found a good spot, clean the surface of your cycle helmet, remove the film off the adhesive pads and stick it in place. It takes 24 hours for the stickers to stick firmly in place, yet I was able to peel them off and readjust and still maintain a decent level of adhesion on my cycle helmet. With not much adjustment other than rotation on the helmet mounting arms, the position will only suit your own ear position. So if you share your cycle helmet, with someone else, this helmet mounted method may not be a good solution for you. But whilst you install them, again, I recommend that you play back the audio whilst placing the open ear headphones over your ears and also position them a little further backwards, which resulted in a much fuller sound and a little deeper bass. Being open ear headphones, I didn't expect a great level of bass from these headphones, but what bass there is, it sounds like a decent compromise for having the ability to also be aware of what's going on around me. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised by the sound quality and even at its loudest audio level, it was enough to still drown out any outside noise whilst not leaking too much audio sound for anyone else to hear nearby. For sports like road cycling, I didn't want to max out the volume level too much as it would still stop me from hearing nearby vehicles clearly, just like any other pair of in-ear earphones. Each open ear headphone features gesture controls to control your audio. You can tap and hold each headphone to turn them on if they're ever turned off. Tap them twice to play or pause your audio. Tap and hold for two seconds to skip forward a track on the right headphone and backwards on the left headphone. And finally, you can tap three times to invoke your mobile's voice assistant. And you can also accept, reject and end calls with these similar gestures too. With the open ear headphones attached to my cycle helmet, I ventured out to test them whilst on the move. As I said earlier, I felt I needed the volume to be set to a low to medium level to hear cars and traffic around me. 
alongside my own audio. Cycling off-road with fewer hazards meant I could crank the volume up a little bit higher, but I still found it a challenge to listen to anyone talking to me when they were set to a very high volume. I found the sound quality to be decent and rich enough for open ear speakers, thanks to their directional acoustic technology. Weighing just 24 grams, I found the headphones were also comfortable to wear. And in relation to the Pro model, I found the majority of their weight was carried by the helmet and there were no pressure or irritation from the neckband with the headphones sitting on my ears from the neckband either. As for its microphone quality, the LTS21 headphones feature environmental noise cancellation. Here is a microphone test without background noise. Hi, this is Anthony from carplaylife.com and this is an audio message test using the Lival over ear headphones and this is an audio test without any background noise. And here is an audio test with background noise. Hi, this is Anthony from carphonelife.com and this is an audio message test using the Laval wireless open ear headphones and this is an audio message test with some background noise. I found this microphone quality to be adequate with no background noise, but in a more noisier environment, I did find the microphone didn't cancel out the cafe noise that much. Although my voice was understandable, it didn't quite seem that the outside environment was being reduced to a significant level. Its performance lacked greatly while cycling, with lots of wind noise from cycling from anything over five miles an hour. I found it difficult to issue commands or messages successfully, either through Siri or leaving voice messages. So I found I had to slow down considerably or stop to use any voice assistant or calling. To charge each headphone, you have to remove them from the mount arms or headband and insert them back into their charging case. It's obvious that this is not easily possible when they're helmet mounted. However, I found it a little bit disappointing that the case wasn't designed to charge them with the neck band still attached. The single charging indicator on the inside of the charging case could have been a little bit more granular with only one single light that either stays illuminated or flashes based on charging rates above or below 20%. It makes it hard to truly understand how much charge is left in the case, as well as how charged the headphones actually are. Android users will have the battery remaining levels shown in the OS, but for any iOS users, we're left in the dark as to how much charge is actually left in the headphones. And with that, I found that a little bit disappointing. The LTS21 Pro Open Ear headphones from Lival currently sell on Indiegogo for 40% off its retail price of $89, and for 41 percent off their full retail price of $79 for the Sport Edition, which comes without the pair of helmet mounting accessories. If you're looking for an open ear sports headphone solution that's free from heavy leaking sound that doesn't rely on bone conduction or create any irritating sound vibration, these open ear headphones could be what you're looking for. They sound great for open ear headphones and they feel comfortable whilst offering 12 hours of operation or 48 hours whilst using its charging case. Its bundled remote control can take some of the frustration away from using the gesture controls on the headphones themselves, but I did hear regular disconnections from it. However, this could be from the remote disconnecting to save on its small internal battery. Once you learn where to touch the headphones to control your audio, the touch gestures are reliable enough to interact with your audio. Even with transparency modes on earbuds, I find having anything inside my ears can limit me from being fully aware of any situations that are around me. And with the right volume level, these headphones from Laval can reduce this feeling, making it comfortable and safe for sports and also in the workplace, where being aware of your surroundings is just as important as the audio that you might be listening to. All right, thanks for watching and I hope you found some value in this video. If you have, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the LTS21 open ear headphones from Laval. You can check out all my other audio reviews up in the top left playlist window. Hit that subscribe button and bell to catch all my future content. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.